Hello guys. Um, so welcome to this um Zap walkthrough video. We are show you how to use Zap, to learn how to use Zap. You know, install, learn how to use what Zap is, and you know, get you started with using Zap. So um, as you all, all know, Zap, we've released um beta zero point zero point one for free for you guys to use. Um, it's been long coming, but yeah, it's finally out. So um, let's all head over to the download page um on Gumroad where we um, download Zap. So we click on the download page. Um, you can put zero dollars over here, really. Um, it's free for everybody to test and use. So you click on, I want these, you click on get, then you view content, right? So on the view content page, you have um, two versions, the M1 version and the Mac um, Intel versions. So I, I use the, an M1 MacBook Pro. So I will click on download for Apple Silicon, right? And I download it. Then it is downloaded, right? I click on the disk image and uh, we are presented with this beautiful uh, Windows installer. So all you need to do over right now is to just drag the zap icon and drop it in your applications and that's all. So you close it and yeah, we're good to go. So really you head over to your applications folder, right? Or your or your launch pad, then you open up Zap. Yeah, that's it. I mean, that's the installation, straightforward, no asshole. So um so over here we are presented with a work with a with an onboarding screen, right? So um let me go over and um continue the onboarding. So yeah, so we do need to enable accessibility permission for Zap to work. So um so we we'll click on enable, we we'll click on open system preferences. So we we'll click on this padlock icon, right? Then you enter your password. Then once you're done, you head over here to scroll down until you look see zap. Then you click on this checkbox to check it. And immediately um zap detects that oh you've given it permission, it pops over, right? So um we want to, you know close this and because we are done with the window then we continue with our onboarding then we'll click on continue then we are presented with this beautiful cut scene that shows you uh um zaps vim key binding in action cool um so we click on get started really and so we are presented with this youtube video right i mean it's a walkthrough video but then i'm recording the walkthrough video so yeah so we don't need to watch this now, but yeah, I'm just saying. So we'll click on continue. Then yeah, so we're presented with the base accelerator, right? So yeah, you, you can choose what kind of base accelerator you want. So um, you can think of base accelerator as just two keys that are important. And what those two keys does is that once you press them together, it kind of act activates ZAP. Yeah, so that, that's what um, base accelerator means. So um so the two options we have we have option command and option shift. So um so um it depends on what you want really. Some people prefer option shift, some people prefer option command. So I mean I prefer option shift. So um it depends on what you want, but just keep in mind that whatever you choose, um that's what you'll be using to activate your zap app. But of course you can let us change this in your preferences. Uh, window if you don't feel like using any of this you can switch over to whichever one you like but i'll go with option shift for now then i click on continue and that's it we're done with zap right so um so we are presented with this zap doc right um it's a beautiful window that was carefully crafted to put everything you need for app management at directly at your front so what it does is uh it kind of uh QC combines your app library, that's your launchpad, right, with your doc. So this is like your Mac OS doc. This plus this place you have plus 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 is your doc section. And this is your app library section. So you know if you scroll up well enough, you see the search bar where you can search for your apps, right? So let me search for Brave. Right. So um so the next thing is um I want to put Brave on my doc on my zap um doc, right? So I drag it, then I put it over here that I can cl close this and write. So another way to search is um to press forward slash while this window is active, right? Then you can search for whatever app you want to like 
use so i want to put kitty on my second slot right so that's it and once i'm done if i don't want to click on this close button i can click it on the escape key right it clears my search and escape again to like add the search bar and alternatively i can just scroll down on my app library right and look for the apps i want to like fill in so i put them over i drag my figma so let me take my time and you know fill in the apps i want to use so yeah so uh notes where are you so i drag in my notes over here right um and after i dragged in my notes uh i have other couple of interesting apps i use day to day so where's my mail i put my mail over here uh cron yep i need cron uh so let me let me bring this up real quick again uh so cron yeah this is my cron my telegram very important so i left it a slot really uh so let's look for look for under important app i use for my day-to-day -day activity um say let me put my visual studio code here over here so um so yeah so i filled um apps that are like i use over and over so um so one first thing is if you click outside this dock, it kind of hides, right? So then you're like, oh, where does this go? How do I access my zap window back? So it's easy, right? It's quite very easy. What you need to do is um to click on this. You see this bolt lightning bolt icon? It is zap's um menu bar icon. You click on it, then you can see the command to like show the zap dock. So if you click on this. It shows right. If you head over back, then click on hide, right? It hides. Then you know, click on expand to like kind of expand. You know, if you go over, you know the drill. Click on collapse. I mean, you can do that, but that is very slow. You will agree with me, right? So I'm um, the best way to do this. I mean, the zap way to do this is remember the base accelerator we set earlier. That was command option right shift option right um so if you press shift option back tick it shows the dog back tick again shift option back tick again like i did so you can use the toggle um the view right shape you get what i'm trying to say interesting so th this is cool so um the next thing is uh to expand this there are two ways to expand if you've toggled it like this you can press e to expand then press e to um hide but keep in mind this only works once this wind with this dock window is active right it is visible on your screen another thing is um let me hide it back real quick if it is not visible but then you want to like enter the expanded view you can press command shift back tick right it kind of expands it for your sap shows the zap dock and expand it you can press the same key again to you know to uh toggle to toggle the expansion up right up and down yeah interesting so yeah that is that is those are the way to like kind of toggle your your zap dog this is very important to learn this so uh i mean because you need to like um um use this dog frequently so it is very important to learn this few commands it's very easy right so and keep in mind um the base accelerator determines how you interact with zap so i i kind of recap again so earlier on we chose sh um shift um command shift i'm sorry option shift so that's why we are pressing option shift if you add over into your preferences right then change it to command option then you close this guy right so if you press command option back tick yeah then command option works you see command um option shift doesn't work again it doesn't work because we've changed it so we've changed it to command option back tick really so you get the gist so uh so um just to keep that in mind really 
So, uh, so, um, the next thing is, uh, let me go back and change these preferences. Yes. Interesting. Let me close some necessary apps. Um, interesting. So, um, so the next thing to do is, uh, let me close this too also and close this interesting so the next thing to do is the um, let's talk about what zap really promises that is um switching to between apps super fast so um you know we have our base accelerator right and um if you open this doc back um so these apps they are numbered from one two three four five six you know seven eight nine zero the last tab is zero right and if you notice on your keyboard those numbers are sequential right you have one two three nine zero so if you press command option one it focuses on your brave app right if it if you press command option two it opens your my kitty terminal which is yeah if you check it that's the second app on my sub doc so if i press command option three my figma command, command option four yeah for my spotify app so you get gist so basically yeah so that is what um this app offers for you like that's why you basically switch between apps and you notice i can switch between apps very fast i mean i don't even need to think about it just like you no know, even if i forget i can just open this up and you know see where the position of my app is and you know kind of you know kind of um open my app right so yeah so that is that is really good that is really cool i mean so that is one of the basic thing you learn about zap is how to switch up like asap like very fast right so interesting uh so the next thing to learn about zap really is okay um so i have a lot of really random apps that are like probably installed by other apps I installed, right? So I want to like tidy up my 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 zap my zap um um app library window, right? So you can go over on, on, on an app, then right click, then you can hide them from dock. So let me go over and remove some silly apps that were installed because some apps install them, like for example, some Adobe softwares install some other Adobe softwares, right? And they are kind of making my um my app library look kind of ugly right so i can go ahead and hide uh these apps because i probably won't directly interact with them right so let me just take my time you know hide these guys hide this guy you know what else yeah so um yeah let me just hide um remove them from my dock yeah all these funny looking applications let me just remove them from my dock asap interesting i think my dock is now tidy enough you know um i've removed the unnecessary apps and everything is looking cool looking beautiful <laughs> so uh um, you know really uh the next thing to do is um to learn some other couple of zap um workflow stuff so um one thing i often do is um you know when you're using your computer right you kind of do different tasks and you kind of open some apps frequently with themselves for example when i had it i open my davinci resolve open my um notes app that contains my script right so i will know it kind of helps me to know how to edit my videos open my video player you know open maybe like my finder window so that i can easily access um my apps really so uh and in order to do that um you know you you need to like you you sometimes do like this to kind of look through the app or you like you just spend your waste your time looking for those windows but with zap zap has a feature called loadout um so what loadout does is um it allows you to group 
um, apps you frequently use together in a single loadout, then you can switch to the loadouts while you are doing those tasks and you can easily switch between these apps. So um, to make this in practice, um, so let me open my zap doc, right? Um, then I expand, really. So in order to toggle between um, loadouts, once you place your cursor, right, my cursor over here, once you place it, place it um, on the zap doc area, if you scroll up and down, you are presented with, you are presented with this um, um, zoom lens, with this um, scroll lens that kind of shows you your, an overview of your loadouts. So you can see that here that I have 10 loadouts as I'm scrubbing through them, right? So these are 10 loadouts and we are, we've already consumed our first loadout. That was where we added all this previous app. So I can just scroll to maybe like an arbitrary position, right? And um, yeah, I can set up, you see, um, we have a clear slate to like work with and add new apps. So, I mean, so, I mean, for editing purpose, I might, I will add my DaVinci Resolve um, and my notes. Yeah, cause I need to like read my script while I'm editing. So I know how to edit properly. Uh, what else? Uh, maybe I add my, uh, my player, my video player right then i add uh um uh, my maybe my finder because i need to because i need to easily find apps um find files right while i'm editing then maybe iMovie yeah iMovie right so i mean so with this you, you can see the benefit of this so i have these apps at my disposal right so uh and yeah i can just same stuff you've already done. Command, command option one to, to open DaVinci Resolve. Command option two to open my notes. Command option three to open Finder, right? Right? Then command option four, maybe to open my... Command option five to open my app, my my iMovie, right? So with this, I mean, I can easily switch between these uh, frequent apps like switch between them like it's nothing. So it really saves me like time, right? Instead of looking for those windows coming over here, yeah, where did I put my previous window? I just know if I press command option, this, 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 right? Yeah, I am switching between my windows effectively. And uh, say you are done with editing, right? You want to like go back to your um, normal, to your normal workflow, right? You can just, um, you know, scroll up, right drag maybe drag this guy over to your your default general kind of workflow stuff and yeah you're back with your previous command open brave open kit terminal open figma open spotify you know i mean really cool stuff really so um so i mean that's how and also there are other cool ways to like kind of navigate um these uh this um loadouts um i mean you can you can press j to go down like to navigate down k to navigate up right so yeah these are vim key bindings that are very useful for navigating uh these stuffs right so for example let me see so one two three four five six okay six so if i press um six k um so if i press 5k it takes me to the first loadout from the current position i am so on the current position i have if i press 5j it takes me to the fifth loadout on my my zap right so um that is how to like faster like kind of uh kind of you know uh navigate between loadouts with vim key binding so this is why i was saying oh vim i'm sorry zap provides you with easy vim key bindings you know to kind of work with and speaking of key bindings, before we move move on, I will teach you some cool key bindings that you need to know. Um, so you see this blue stuff under my brave symbolizes that oh my brave is my current app that I'm currently on, right? So and um sometimes when I don't need to like you know stress yourself, look for some kind of number, right? So the thing is, I say I want to open my Spotify, right? And this is one, two, three. So I can just press three L boom spotify has opened 
right? So these are Vim key bindings, really interesting Vim key bindings. It's not really hard like Vim, so fret not. It's just like basic key bindings that, you know, navigation key bindings that makes it a lot easier to like navigate um, with, you know, navigate between apps. Like for real, I go for hours, like without even touching my mouse. All I just do is my keyboard and boom, boom, boom. I walk over here and I walk over here. And I have a dual monitor set, set up. So Zap works with dual monitor, right? But I can't demo it with because I, I, I only have to record on a single monitor, right? But yeah, Zap works with mon multiple monitors and I really enjoy using super. It's superb. So um so let me let me let me let me do some some magic again. So um Say I want to open my um, KT terminal, right? That means I just press 2J. Yeah, and we are here. So, uh, I mean, that is that is a nifty, cool feature to have. And also, you can cycle um, between apps, which, uh, hold on. Yeah, so cool, 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 cool. So these are like, um features you have with um with i mean easy key bindings you have with with uh with zap like you know to like kind of switch between um apps you know so let me move to another um empty loadout slot and show you another way i kind of use zap so say i want some design inspiration i can also set up like my brave my figma then my notes right so i mean i mean with these three stuffs and yeah good music spotify yeah we just put my spotify over here with this simple loadout i have everything i need to like get my design inspiration so i can just switch one you know then press command option back command back tick so like uh you know toggle between i because i have to brave windows open right so let me just put it over here so that you can see so just to toggle between these two windows right so i'm on my dribble then maybe I'm reading some, I'm seeing some inspiration, some case study design. Oh, I kind of love this artistic direction. Maybe I just go to ever over to my notes app. Then I say, oh, write some notes, some notes about that, you know, design. Then, oh, well, I have a bright idea, you know, kind of switch over to my Figma, you know, do some design stuff, you know. Oh, oh, I forgot what I want to do. Head over back to my um, Brave, you know, back, forward, back, forward, throw and fro, throw and fro easily. I'm not even thinking about doing this. Like, I just press the key combos and yeah, everything is just, you know, I'm just flowing, right? So yeah, this is how Zap really helps you. Like, it just provides you with this cool... You, you know, with this cool feature set that allows you to like just easily navigate between windows, really. That whole setup is all about, really. So, um, we've talked about um, loadouts, which which are very cool. I mean, this is like one of the best features um, Zap really provides for you. Um, I believe the next thing to really talk about, I mean, this is the basics. I mean, if you just learn all of these few things, you are fine with Zap. I mean that is the basic of Zap, really. Um, let me see. Uh, um, hold on. Okay. Yeah. Um. Cool. Yeah. So um, there's an order like way to like use Zap. So if you press your base accelerator, right, you can cycle um, between apps with um, command option, you know, comma to go back, right, then full stop to go forward, right, you get the gist. Yeah, so it's like, it's almost similar to command tab that you guys use, right, command tab, you press command tab, you know, other stuff, right, yeah, it's very similar to that, I mean, we need to keep the feature because some people are used to it but i mean this is not really ideal but yeah if you know what you are doing you can just use this feature set and yeah i think z and x work also yeah zx for like the right hand, left right handed people yeah we have command option zx too it does the same 
feature sets. Uh, so cool, cool, cool. I mean, I mean that's what Zap really does. So let us go to some other stuff you can do with Zap. You know, to kind of wrap up this work walkthrough session. So um, if you like, I said again, if you click, if you click on this um. This thunderbolt, you know, it's like for zap menu bar. Then you can go to your preferences section. At, I believe I've opened this previously and I've explained what this does. Like you can change it anytime. So um, one other thing you can do is uh, you can head over into the shortcuts tab. In this tab, you can look for any app you, of your choice and kind of assign an arbitrary shortcut to it. So it's very good. Like I mean, for example, you might you might just have a shortcut in mind. Oh, anytime I think about B, that's brave, right? So I can just search for brave, um, uh, brave really. Then click on it. Then press him like assign a shortcut to it. So let me assign command option B. Cool. So I've assigned command option B to brave. So if I press next time, I, if I press command option B, yeah, you see brave just pops up. Poof. <laughs> Yeah. So and yeah. Also, I I used to uh, like to assign K to Kitty. So let me just go there. Yeah, uh, Kitty. Let me just really. So yeah. Uh, so we have Kitty over here. Yeah. Cause I use New Vim as my day to day um text editor, right? So yeah. Just assign that, and yeah, we're good to go. Really. So K B. You know. Really cool. Really awesome. Uh, what else? Let me open my preferences once again. Um, I think I believe that is it. That is it. Um, for this beta, because we have lots more features coming in the next beta. So just keep your fingers crossed. More interesting stuffs are coming. So um, one other feature I want to introduce is so um, this is present in some Linux distros, but it's not present in macOS. I don't know why, but it's a really good feature. Say I'm working on the um, I mean, let me just assign some apps really. See, I'm working on, let me pull up my text editor real quick. Yeah, let me just, yeah. And to replace app, you can drag an app right over then replace, or you can, you know, remove, right? So yeah, that is some things you need to know. So you drag over. So yeah, so I have these. Uh, let me just create like an empty document, right? Then kind of bring up my notes over, right? So, um, so you know, we have um these, these, and these, these three apps stacked over themselves. So, um, with this um zap feature, um, called autofocus on Windows. So what happened is. Once you are typing lorem, IP sum, blah, 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 right? You know, just type rubbish. <laughs> then you click on close, right? Notice uh, Zap automatically focus on the next window at the back, right? So Zap helps you to do that. So instead of like, um, you know, you know, you, you have to like carry, take your hands off your mouth, of your keyboard, then, you know, click on the next window, next available window, right? I mean, that's a waste of time. So Zap automatically focuses on the next window. Say I close this, I do some stuff and I close this window too. Then it automatically focuses on the next window, which is my kitty window, right? So yeah, that is a very, I mean, it's a kind of very handy feature. Um, yeah, it's a very nice to have feature, which Zap provides you guys. I mean, so, I mean, that is basics of Zap really. That's what Zap is. And um, I'm glad you made it to the end of this video. And really, if you can master all of this, well, like I've been using Zap since over two years. This is, this is the inception of Zap since when I built it. Um, one thing I can tell you is once you've gotten used to it, you won't be able to stop. I can't do without using Zap. It's 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 the first app like I install on my on my Mac, any Mac I get to use because I'm it just makes my work very, very easier because I know where everything is and I can switch. And also, I use multiple monitors, so it works across multiple monitors, but I can't demo that currently because uh, there's no way to demo multiple, record multiple screens at a time. But yes, Zap works on multiple monitors, and which is very, very, very cool. Yeah, um, I'm glad. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this demo. And yeah, so your feedback are important. We need your feedback on to improve Zap. 
And yeah, keep keep anticipating. There are a lot of cool features that are coming to Zap in the, in the next beta. Uh, we have marking windows. Um, another cool stuff really. Um, can't wait to share with you guys. And also, also another thing is you can actually use Zap as a sidekick with your favorite productivity app. So um, I like to use Raycast. So let me pull my Raycast over here. Um, kind of replace it to Cron, right? Then maybe drag it to the third one because I want to make it reachable, right? So I can. This is very cool and neat for me. So all I just know is my Raycast is on my option tree, right? And I can, you know, and cool. I have my Raycast working. You know, I can switch to other apps, then switch back to Raycast. Maybe do something. Maybe like get my emojis. Right, so yeah, I mean, so you can use um Zap like as a sidekick to like you know like super hands apps like Raycast, like um Alfred, you know. So yeah, Zap doesn't demand too much. It just like provides you some feature sets, some some really cool feature set and the UI, just like to make your window management a little bit easier, you know, and better. So that is very cool and um. I mean, we've come to the end of this workshop, guys. So thank you very much. And um, maybe we get to talk in the next demo. And yeah, drop into our Discord channel and you can feel free to like have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me. I will share my um, calendar invite. And yeah, let's, let's keep zapping, guys. Let's keep zapping. Thank you very much and peace.